different technologies were used to study these large canvases. They were discovered in Italy a few years ago after being considered to be lost. They are actually part of a um, painted room, a, a, a room that was painted all around with these uh, wall hangings because they are fragments of a painted wall hanging. And they were ordered in, in the 1780s by rich merchant for his house at Keizersgracht 187. A team of art historians, conservators and chemists discovered that they were produced for the Burningkammer, a period room from an 18th century Amsterdam canal house, currently on view in the Rijksmuseum. So it was a remarkable uh, discovery when two fragments turned up in Italy. We were really excited when we could make the connection with the Burningkammer, the period room, which is installed in the museum. So. We were excited to uh, take a closer look. In this investigation, infrared technology played an important role. With infrared reflectography, one can see beneath a painting's surface. Uh, I especially took a look at the borders of the, the edges of the canvases. We discovered that there was uh, lots of overpaint on these edges, and underneath there are original details which can directly be linked to the design sketches of Andriessen for uh, the Beuningkamer. Research also showed how the painter made his designs, especially for this very room. For example, uh, as you can see, this, uh, these statues are lit uh, as if they were uh, lit from the uh, front. Of, from the front. And that uh, uh, precisely matches their position in the room opposite the windows. These findings fit in a larger research project concerning Dutch historical interior paintings. And uh, many of these, of these rooms, these painted rooms, um, are, um, have been dismantled, like uh, here the example now in the Rijksmuseum. And, and then the objects, when they are so dispersed and, and you don't know where they come from, they're kind of an orphaned object and you, don't, yeah, you can't interpret them anymore. You, yeah, if you carry out such an uh, yeah, interdisciplinary approach using evidence from all kinds of angles, you can solve such questions and, yeah, and, and give these, these paintings a kind of a home and their significance again. Also, painting schemes that have been preserved in situ are investigated, like in the Martena House in Franeker. It is very striking and exciting that an, a complete set of that has been preserved in situ, and not in Amsterdam and The Hague, but as in, in Franeker, a city in Friesland. A wide-angle approach that brings together different experts may even result in a new type of art history. And this development is, of course, only possible because there are new, so much better uh, techniques now of examining artworks, also techniques that will be developed in, in NICAS to answer our questions in a better way. NICAS, the Netherlands Institute for Conservation, Art and Science, will conduct research and publish about themes like material dynamics and the origin and meaning of works of art and improving conservation treatments.
So it is really a combination with material technical research combined with yeah, the more traditional yeah, humanity-based research methods for art history. And that is yeah, what we then say that is a kind of a new approach that we uh, will also perform in the Nikas Institute. And this development is of course only possible because there are new, so much better uh, techniques now of examining artworks, also techniques that will be developed in, in NICAS.